we go. Here's the big fight. Put it on cookies. So here's one of the two main fights that we need to do. Alright. Uh, so we only have four enemies here. The officer is an elite. He has two actions on his team. Flamethrower is already in the front, which is where they do the most damage. These two are the big killers here. Uh, we could push him back. Right off the bat, we could just push him back some. I think I'll go ahead and start out that way. Hey, Steven Sarr, welcome back. Haircut bros. Did you get your haircut two days ago? It's the ties. Alright. Uh, I want to push him back again. I don't want her to get down to two. Uh, we get, we don't have suppression anymore, unfortunately. Blinds so are at minus 15% accuracy on him. Uh, do, do we have any frontliners over here? No frontline at all. That sucks. We can still use volley on her, though. So snipe doesn't do anything at the moment. Just crit the bag. Watch right now. True way to buy endless packs. You want. Oh, you got a spam message? Fell asleep, huh? She was up until about 1.30. Or, you know, 1.15 or whatever. She just went to bed. Yeah. It's okay. You feel better? Hmm, so they still have three actions. I think I am going to use shrapnel. Hit what we want for big damage. Good, good. And he's bleeding. So he's dead. Shoot to kill. He just AoE buffed. Critical hit and sh increase by 15%. Okay. So we need to hit him with just anything. If we kill him, amazing. He's going to bleed out. We didn't kill him, but he'll bleed out after his action. That's what you have to give. So reach the flamethrower. Uh, I think if he's back in position three and four, he moves himself forward instead of shoots. So far, it looks like he mainly does the flamethrower from position one or two. How's this compared to Darkest Dungeon? I like Darkest Dungeon better overall. Uh, this game has more complex combat, but they've... But it feels more repetitive. So, I mean, in this game, the combat uh, has a completely different system. I know it's left versus right. But that's the only real similarity, uh, aside from the four skills. So, there's eight positions on each side. Uh, two different rows. There's flanking. There's cover. There's action points instead of turn order. Um, combat is a lot different from Darkest Dungeon. Let's go ahead and heal her, just in case. You never know when she's going to get suppressed, which is basically, like, stunned. And, uh... Killed. Oh, he missed both. Very good. Very good. So we're going to take him out next, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. He's behind cover, but... You know what? Let's go... Sh Let's try shrapnel again. Another crit. It crit the friggin' bag. <laughs> Shoot to kill. Now they have a plus 50% crit on both of those. It did take up an action from him, though. Uh, this guy's down to 14, but he does have cover. Leaves unfilled void. Oh, with no narrator. Okay, his cover's gone, so we can kill him now pretty easily. 10, not too bad. Uh, he traded her, knocked her back, which isn't a big deal for us either. So if we kill him, they get rid of one action, and then, uh, you know, that ends their round here. So what's our highest chance to kill? 71%. 83. Volley's probably going to be it. 97, yeah. Absolutely. How many character types are there in this game? So far, I think we've ran into about 7 or 8. I don't I don't know if I'm selling name right, but thank you for the follow. Let me know if I'm butchering it. I'll try to get it right. How does chat feel about 
mobile games. I usually don't like mobile games, but I mean, if someone likes them, it doesn't bother me at all. You know? Doesn't bother me. Uh, so she's going to have extra damage now from that kill. The crit. Jack the marionette. Ooh. Jack, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Down to 17. We need to heal. Mario Kart kick? Yeah, I saw someone mention that. Or uh, I saw it mentioned somewhere. Boy. Okay, let's get rid of their last action with Ploy. Put auto chest for a while. To play PvZ was a mobile game. Oh, that's Plants vs. Zombies, right? Uh, when I see, see PvZ, I immediately think of StarCraft. So PvZ means Protoss vs. Zerg in StarCraft. It's only the officer left up. He does have two actions per round, but we can get rid of one of those. And we can out heal his damage, so. Mr. Melon, Melons. It's my mom's day. Is that the game with Twinks? No, that's that's MMOs. Zergo P. It reminds me, the super GSL Super Tournament will be going on right I mean it's probably going on right now, actually. It'll be going on at the end of stream. I definitely shouldn't stay up and watch any of it. So will I? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> the answer is probably yes. So I play MB3. So I on to the SMS. You play games on it. Teach you. Does it have a screen at all? Maybe you can play Snake. position she hit anything like that oh and this one game mechanics hindsight how are you doing hindsight game mechanics you know good crit heal see i haven't watched it yeah but i only got like three hours of sleep last night <laughs> so i'm like more exhausted than normal pretty sure if I try it, I'd probably fall asleep during it. Which maybe maybe I'll put it on while I'm laying down or something. I'll go unconscious almost instantly. Thanks, shoots. Watch what? GSL. Uh, StarCraft 2. South Korean tournament. Alright. We're topped off enough. We'll still heal with her once around. We can start killing him. <clears throat> Ported Skyrim to every playable device. <clears throat> I know. I saw a video of someone playing it on... Uh, on their fridge. Saw someone playing Skyrim on their fridge. Alright, we'll ploy to get rid of his last action. Our way beats pizza rolls and got caught up in a game of Skyrim on it. That's pretty likely. Go ahead in your Tesla. I have a Tesla? No, I know what you mean. World is ending. <laughs> uh, Alright. We're pretty good. We can kill him. We'll just kill him. Highest accuracy is volley. Uses a little bit more ammo, but it's alright. time screen even any kind of computer like feature lots of new fridges have that you can uh, and they're connected to the internet too so you can uh, sync up your grocery list you can tell it what you're putting in there and it can give you recipes for what you have in your fridge will it run doom it was fun to see what would run it oh I haven't seen that it shoots so you can tell your fridge what you have in it when you put it in there and what you take out of it and it'll tell you recipes with what you have left. 
I don't have one, but I've, I've played around with them at the store. I think the other one was up north, right? I think so. Game for the SNES called Faceball. No, I don't. Sounds so unnecessary for a fridge. You can draw on it. It's got a touch screen. Want it to perfect temperature? Yeah. <laughs> battle excuse me those forget how to think for themselves yeah people said the same thing when the newspaper was invented so I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen though like it's always what's said when a new technology comes out I was like uh, when have you seen the thing where the teacher when when they started giving uh, loose leaf paper notebooks in school and the teacher with the chalkboards, the slate, was like, Kids these days, wanting to use paper, they'll grow up without even knowing how to use a slate. It's like, Hey, did Fizz, welcome back. Different Rimworld mod makes the game look so different. Almost, like, totally different game. Almost. Close to it. So we got a sniper and a flamethrower. Uh, we do have a front line, so we can take that out with a sniper this time. 86% chance. I feel like Mist. Not have to clean the fridge every time because they're painting on it. It's true. So I'd like our sniper to get that move. So I'm still going to use ploy even right off the bat here, mainly to give our sniper an extra stamina. Because snipe takes two stamina and I want her to be able to take out the front line. Hoppy. Writing things down, people will forget how to remember. Yeah. Oh, and she got suppressed. So, that didn't work out very well. Uh, it's alright. We'll use shrapnel and see what we hit. Good crit. Good crit. He resisted the bleed, though. Uh, and then they crit right back. Going to bed, melons? Melons, see for all the bits. Oh, we don't have melons. Uh, no, it's not by Red Hook. It's by a different company. The only similarity to Dark's Dungeon is left versus right. Turn-based. With four skills. The combat is completely different. Very, very different, actually. I need to go ahead and heal her, because if uh, she gets sniped or something, she could die. Ooh. At least the crit hit the cover. That flank, snipe. Oh my lord, come on, man. This is XCOM numbers. She's... Ugh. Missed that snipe again. Now she's in risk of dying to the sniper. So we have to heal her. Hey, Davey, welcome back. You missed an interesting uh, conversation, Davey. How you doing? This is the bleed, at least. <laughs> Hackable fridge. People opening your fridge silently. <laughs> I don't I don't think you have to worry about this. I think you're I think you're safe. <laughs> oh man. Good hit. Part of it hit cover though. Well, the combo wasn't suspect? Not at all. We were just talking about melons. This is dangerous, actually. Crap. I should have healed there. Genau in den Kopf. Milk for delivery. <laughs> uh, we might have a death. I gotta be careful, guys. Pay attention, Adam. Good crit. Please don't attack him. Burn. Missed. Very good. Please snipe someone, for God's sake. 
she's missed 386 percent that would this would have been a much easier fight if we had uh, not missed all those 86 percent shots XCOM numbers I say He's easier to kill. He has two activations, too. So, let's take him out. He is behind cover, but that's okay. Scored the cover. He's down to 21. I'm coming soon. If we get unlucky, maybe. I think we're okay. This is the last elite officer fight on this map. 20, don't attack him, please. Shoot to kill, what is that upgrade? Is that crit? Increase crit, okay, that's not a big deal. Two and three iron kids, is that just the art style? Uh, well, I mean, it, it's supposed to be, it's partially the art style, but it's also matching kind of what was going on right then right like the vast majority of the war was fought by you know teenagers so i think it's a combination of the two fizz kind of like the lithograph style out of the background yeah i like the artwork all together how you doing jerry welcome in Gotta kill him. But yeah, Fizz, I think it's combo. Combo the two. Let's try it again. Okay. So now we can recover completely. Now we're completely safe. He only has one action point. We have four now, plus ploy, so he can't do anything. We'll just full heal. So. We are fine. More than fine. We're going to be full health. Good crit. I'll save us a little bit of time. Uh, she has one more stamina. Another crit. She's already full. Martin is on fire. Not anymore, though. Okay, ploy again. No reason not to. Okay, bit badge or the 100 gifted sub badge? That's a good question. What do you think? Can't use those heal skills in a combat. Yeah, it's just game mechanic, you know. Do you make YouTube videos? Yes, we do. Uh, so right now, we are uploading our World First Darkest Dungeon challenge. We're uploading Greedfall playthrough. We'll upload this. Um, I'm going to make some YouTube exclusive stuff. But at the moment, um, unfortunately, uh, we don't have the... We don't have partnership with, with YouTube. So with YouTube, you have to have a partnership now before you can make even pennies off of your videos and so we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers that's the last criteria we need we have all the watched hours and stuff like that so if anyone uh even if you don't intend to watch on there if you subscribe to the youtube it'll help out uh get us closer to that that goal and i can make some more exclusive content on there to justify it davy davy crack thank you for give sub to fizz 106. Holy crap. Davy, thank you for the gift sub. Love and sandwiches to Davy Crockett. Uh, King of the Wild Frontier, by the way. Who didn't know? Fizz, welcome to the sub club. We get all kinds of emotes now for a month. No ads on this channel. Thank you, Davy. More than 100 subs. Yeah, absolutely. 106. Is their anniversary stream up yet? The um, the Colonel Sanders part of it is. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to YouTube, the Colonel Sanders part of the anniversary stream is up. Uh, Alright. Last heal, we're full health now. Let's see some of us here. 
this hero bosses after the Greedfall videos are done? You think that's the next most important thing, Gruntwork? I was thinking of uploading the 12 week Blood Mo or 12 week Darkest Dungeon run first. Well, we were almost at 500. Ash, thank you for the subscription on there. Shit, Ash. The dye is here, Pink. Maybe. <laughs> I should be careful what I say. You're in. I should make some kind of goal. <laughs> Set a sub goal. I know channels do that. I've never done anything like that, though. Oh, we'll get more varied viewers than another Dark Dungeon video series, especially since the first one isn't finished. Gotcha. That makes sense. Just the boss reels, you think, Gruntwork? Reverse Mohawk. Oh, jeez. Right, I'm gonna head and head home. I know, I could stay around there. I guess I shouldn't have healed up like that since we're just headed home. Already got them cut up for the highlights, that's true. Uh, unusual news breaks out today, spurring a mixture of excitement and surprise, perhaps due to some unspoken need for greater discipline. It would seem that the home army has chosen to attach an officer, a major, to lend direct aid in your field efforts. Henrik. Ooh, we have an officer. Interesting. Day 45. So my, my one concern, my one main problem in this game so far is that it's, it feels extremely repetitive. Chart, not a pink, X amount for Mohawk. God, man. I don't like this conversation going on in chat. <laughs> Go to bed. Yeah, thanks for starting that, Davey and Mod Wife. Uh, Davey, thank you again for the gift sub, and uh, if, if you know anyone that perhaps likes talking about melons who donated or give, gave some bits, let them know. I appreciate them also. Okay, let's repair this pistol. Trigger happy and keep away. I'm gonna have to look, take a look at that. New pistol, maybe? Sketchy melons. So she can't wear that type. Who can wear that type? Hmm. We don't have anyone that can wear that type of uh, gun yet. All right, let's look at our newest uh, recruit here. Let's see, volley can be used from any position. Uh, we already have that on several people. Controlled fire, have that as well. What is this one? Maintain formation, redeploy all allies to their original position, spend one stamina. Doesn't seem all that too valuable. Clear shot. Used from any position. Hits only the back. Uses only two short ammo. <clears throat> high accuracy. Reduce accuracy against targets behind cover. So that's the same one as our medic has. Repelling fire. Uh, oh, did it automatically equip that on him? Oh, okay. There it is. It automatically equips it on this guy. Okay. Repelling fire. Push an enemy back when tile. So he has very similar uh, moves to uh, the medic, only in the and deploy people without having to heal. So what can he get here? Kill shot, used from the front. Uh, deals nine to 14 damage, low accuracy, high crit. Okay, so really high crit chance, low accuracy ability. Or blind, uh, or no quarter rather. Used from the front, can hit anywhere aside from the very back, uses eight small ammo, high accuracy, deals okay damage, applies blind. That seems pretty decent. All resist up, increase all resistance by 30%. Or restore one point of stamina, spends two stamina. Patch. Patch, thank you for the resub. 10 months, that's double digits. It's basically a year. Weapons, what does he do? Uh, he, yeah, a doctor, so a healer. Healer and a buff uh, and debuff type person. Patch, thank you for the resub. 11 sandwiches to patch. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime here. Financially supports me and my family like a normal sub. Thank you, Patch. Gain and... Oh, what? Oh. 
Hey, Steve, welcome in. How are you doing, Steve? This game's out? Yeah, it came out on the seconds. That is insane. Gain an extra action? Not a beta or anything? Yeah, it came out on the second. Increase the dodge chance of the officer and adjacent allies by 10%. We don't have enough to get to this, right? Uh, we need... Wait. Yes, we do. Not to this one, though. <laughs> what do I think of it? I like it so far. It's a bit repetitive, but uh, it's a it's a decent game. Might be a little a little more expensive than it, maybe it should be in its current state, but so far it's it's uh, it's all right. Graphics are good, combat's good. It's just a little repetitive. Man, we need uh, I would need three more accommodations to get this, so I'm gonna wait. I might try them out though. I don't know. Hmm. Volley is all he really has in the back line. Clear shot. I don't know. Blind. We could try that too. Alright, we'll try him out. We'll try him out. Okay, back out we go, I believe. Um, no, I didn't equip that. 14 to 20, keep away, trigger happy. So I wonder why no one can equip that. Don't know. Let's see, we got plenty of short ammo, plenty of long ammo, tons of it. Yeah, we're okay. Sell a couple of these, I might just sell like five of them. This is pretty amazing, Deathless Blood Moon. Yeah, so I hold the world, the world only, as far as we know. Torchless, Deathless, Blood Moon, all boss, all DLC, within a time limit, etc. Took a long time to do it. Oh, the dead, same four man group. Yeah, I did. Uh, I beat Iridus on the hardest difficulty on stream eight times. <clears throat> Man, we are really hurting here. Uh, we're about to lose our first zone, and like you can't go to multiple ones, right? No sleep, Steve. Steve, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Uh, if you want to see it, it's going up on YouTube right now. We did it earlier in the year, but uh, yeah, we basically beat the hardest difficulty in Darkest Dungeon, including all the bosses, on the Blood Moon time limit uh, with zero light the entire time, and with zero deaths. Even on the last boss, zero deaths. Ulting the same weapon, they will attack the same. First dungeon is still hope it'll improve. It'll it reinforce based on distance. Yeah, I agree, Lilac. I don't know which one of these we could Man, PMSW. Well, we're about to see what it's like to lose our first zone. Last boss? No, it doesn't auto-kill. Well, it does, but the the last boss in Darkest Dungeon, its mechanic is to get you down to two people. But if you only have two people, it doesn't use that move. So what I did is I did the entire final mission of the entire game with only two people from the start. So no deaths even on the final boss. So I two-manned it. I two-manned the end. <laughs> Dying and four... 17, 4, 8, and 5. I guess this is where we're going. We have to win 5 battles there. Ugh. Collect scavenge. I'm going to go here. Alright. Take our medic. Guess I'm going to try him out. I don't know. He doesn't seem super great. So I get some upgrades. I'll try him though. I'll try him out. Employ. Alright. Alright. How's combat in this? Combat in this is more complex, but it seems more repetitive. Oh, 
Uh, I don't think we're going to really use heavy ammo. So I'll, I'll show next combat why it's more complex. For anyone that, that has just joined recently or anything, I'll, I'll go over the mechanics of the combat. But uh, yeah, there's, there's more complexity to it, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's better or harder. All right, let's go. Hey, Cam, welcome in. Thanks, Cam. I got this a couple days ago. It's the same haircut I always get every few months. Might be pink soon. I don't know about pink. I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't remember agreeing to anything. Pink's too ugly. <laughs> Tough for silver. Yeah, it had breast cancer. Well, I hope that means they overcame it, Steve, and not the other way. Ten subs, by the way. So, yeah, th that's why I did three. We, we owed two giveaways from last night and one for tonight. Were we not at ten when I did the third giveaway? No pink will look good. All right, so I need to use uh, the med kit right off the bat. Good. Good to hear. I mean, not good that they got it, but you know what I mean. We were at eight when I did it. Whoops. <laughs> so, well, we're good though. Scouting for the uprising. You reach the area and immediately get to work. After you successfully reclaim what you realistically can, you give the order to head to the next spot. Same message because it's the other quest one. Here's an event down here though. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, I think it's That's what I was just looking at. Your group is called to assist with the evacuation of a field, a hospital, and one of the local churches. The word has gone out that the Nazis have discovered the hospital. And so in advance of the unavoidable sweep, the hospital has to be relocated as quickly as possible. Time is running out and establishing certain priorities may be crucial to the success of the efforts. Uh, if I enter... Secure the most crucial medical supplies first. Focus on carrying out the beds of the heavily wounded. Or send someone to be on the lookout for enemy movement. So we can click on these first and see our percentage. So we have an 80% for the top. 80% for the middle. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to do the brawn one. Hospital beds are cumbersome and the wounded are many. Still, your group doesn't slow down or falter. What little delay creeps in is quickly assailed by the physical exertions of the teammate in charge. It is a slog, but it pays off as you successfully manage to evacuate all of the bedridden patients. Plus six morale. Where are we on the map? Got quite a ways to go. Heading towards the next quest area. Brawn. It's gonna be the same message. You can zoom out. Yeah, you can zoom out. Percentages of these actions, most streamers you watch <clears throat> points allocated in certain abilities. I didn't, it's just by default, Zaf, so I have no idea. I haven't changed any settings or anything. So I don't know, I don't know. Why mine shows percentage? Wasting all AP and failed the mission. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, Cap. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure, uh, Zaphilus. I don't know if I get your name right, but it's just how it's always been on mine. So no snipers. My decks. Uh, the other way around. Yeah, yeah. The first way, though, like. The champ with the high decks here. Yeah. Uh, Zaf, thank you for the follow. I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong, but I appreciate the follow. So we've completed the mission. I kind of want to test him out in battle, though. So let's go fight these zombie or zombies and Nazis. 
You too? That's free. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're about halfway to the thousand mark, and uh, subscribing on there is free. All right. So this is the first time seeing this officer, the Russian infantry officer, I think. Uh, they have five actions behind cover. This officer gives them two actions. So he's our most important to kill, but he's also directly behind cover. So this is our first time ever trying out the officer unit of our own. Uh, he has volley, clear shot, no quarter, which lowers accuracy. Controlled fire. Hmm. Controlled fire is an AOE, can hit all four of them. For low damage, one to three. Volley, which we've used a lot. Clear shot, which is a good flanking attack on him. I like the no quarter lowering accuracy. And we can hit both of the back line with it. Hong, it absolutely isn't. Trust me, Hong, I am a super fan of Darkest Dungeon. This is not a reskin at all. Uh, so in this game, I said I would go over combat. So for anyone that hasn't seen it, it does react to the music. That's good. That's good. <laughs> no worries, shoots. How do you battle this woman? So how the combat works in this is uh, on both sides, there's two rows of four, four spaces each. So... Uh, a unit in a, a diagonal row from the other will get a is a, in a flank shot. So you can flank the enemy, the enemy can flank you. There's also cover uh, that absorbs damage if you're directly behind it. Also in this game, it has stamina and activation points. So in this, it's more like chess. You don't have a speed and you don't have multiple people on, on each side going back to back. So we get a turn and they get a turn. You alternate getting turns, spending one activation point per turn until everyone has spent all their activation points and then you go to the next round and it resets. Now at the end of each round, you gain one stamina on each of your heroes. You start with three stamina. You can't go above that. You can't go below zero. Uh, every move uh, has a stamina cost to it. And the lower your stamina, the more um, debuffs your character gets. So for instance, at full stamina, you have no deficit to any stats. If you are missing one stamina, you have minus 10% accuracy. If you're missing two stamina, that character takes 20% additional damage. If you're missing all of your stamina, they cannot take an action that round unless they're given stamina by another uh, character's ability. There's a few characters that have that. Um, so the combat, and also you have to worry about ammo in this game. Uh, the attacks use three different types of ammo, short, long, and heavy ammo. And you do have a finite supply of ammo and you have to use your resources to buy ammo. Uh, so the the similarities to this game to Darkest Dungeon is that it's 2D, it's left versus right, and you have four skills. And you go back to somewhere after missions, and that's pretty much it. Connection between Darkest Dungeon and Warsaw? No, there is not. The art style? The art style reminds me more of uh, Metal Slug than it does Darkest Dungeon. So if you don't know Metal Slug, you could look up Metal Slug and you could see that this is a very reminiscent of Metal Slug art style. Yeah, no problem, Hunk. I mean, it, it's kind of like going somewhere where someone is playing like, uh, you know, uh, a, a three-on-three turn-based uh, RPG and saying, hey, this is a clone of Final Fantasy VII or something, you know. Like, it, it's really not. No Wayne, though. Okay. I'm going to try this move out. So we're going to use no quarter for the first time. Many people. Oh, yeah, I know. No Wayne, though. Nope. So we've lowered their accuracy of one of them. One of them resisted. Uh, so he's got the minus, a or minus actually, but if we lose another stamina, he does. He's 20% more damage as well. All right, we do have the flank on this guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Fantasy games and demons. Oh, we missed good. Advanced Wars. Metal Slug missed the Advanced Wars, yeah. How you doing, Paladin? Kimasabi, welcome in. Nice haircut, thank you, Kimasabi. How you doing, Kimasabi? Uh, we don't need to heal at the moment. Again, if we use his Stamina here, he's gonna take extra damage, so we gotta keep that in mind. So we should try to use 
our medic. She does have clear shot on him, which again is a flank and he doesn't have cover. We could use it here. It's not a flank, so it's going to do a little bit less damage, but it'd be better to focus fire on someone and take them out. The way they lose an action. Iridus? Iridus was fine. Uh, Iridus had its problems, but I thought it was decent enough. I, Like I said, I like Darkest Dungeon better, but uh, I played Iridus for 200 hours on stream. I enjoyed it. And the game's not... It's still in early access. Uh, I mean... The developers have said, you know, it's super early access, so take the things you see in there with kind of a grain of salt, you know. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and use no quarter again. Missed. Big damage. Yeah, the very first version of Dark's Dungeon was also rough. Have you seen, like, the graphics were far different. Uh, the inventory system was way different. Looks like a whole different game. Alright. So we don't need to heal yet. Uh, so this guy has cover now. Our meta can knock him back if she's moved forward one. I just think I should have taken the knock back on him and I didn't do it. Let's start out with no quarter though. Because we can lower their actually before they go. Good. It's rough, yeah. Uh, no. Chris has a Halloween thing coming. 31, so we want to heal. Crit heal. Yeah, I thought Iritus was was fine for an early access game. We had the developers come by and they asked for my opinions on it. I told them that it was uh, told them that it was too easy. <laughs> it seems like that's what I'm always telling these developers. I like the game overall. Um, maybe we should go ahead and heal her. The only downside is if we heal her. Well, I don't, yeah, let's do it because we don't know. She might get suppressed. No, I, I did tell the developers a couple of different things about Iridus that uh, the kind of wish list stuff, and they, they told me that most of those things were coming. We'll see. So I have two actions left. We could use Ploy to get rid of one of them, but we just really need to kill. Pay hundred dollars if Darkson Two comes out today. Well, that won't happen, but I would too. I know. Warsaw. Twenty-seven. All right. You've got a You're there, Lilac. Medic's down at three health. As soon as he's dead, they're gonna lose one point. Good miss. 79. Uh, for the first Nintendo video game? 82 or 84, I would guess? I don't know. 82, 84? I feel like 84 is the right answer. I don't remember. It feels like I used to know this. All right, we use volley. Kill one. 83! Oh, you said... Oh, game, yes. I know that they made playing cards. They used to be a playing card company. They reinvented themselves. I didn't see the quotations. I thought you meant video game, yeah. I didn't see the quotation marks for game. They're moved, which kind of... Uh, doesn't really affect us too much. All right, so good news is the one that has two actions is now back there. Um, so he no longer has cover. Could use Snapshot. I think I will. So we use Snapshot on him. It's a flank skill. It missed, unfortunately. If it would have hit him, it would have brought him down to this row, and then we had a flank on our... Uh... Just keeps shuffling those around. It's not a big deal. We would have had a flank with our uh, Kristoff character here. Virtual boy so bad. Success and failure. You've got Fluji. Okay. Uh, 
think we're fine to shoot, yeah. <laughs> We're just shuffling them, which doesn't really impact us at all, and it does a low damage, so uh, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. Alright, so we got that flank shot in, brought him down here, and now Kristoff will have a flank on him next round. So we should be able to kill him pretty easily. None of these can do enough damage to kill someone in one shot, so just do a single shot. That gets rid of two of their actions. Alright. Uh, we'll go ahead and toss a heal because I don't want to get him crit down to low health. Or end up being like stunned basically. So they have forceful advance. So. Hmm. Let's see. No quarter can only hit. No, it, it can hit them. I need to move him up. So we'll move him up. Now we can use no quarter. This is going to hit both. Unfortunately, this is going to absorb some of the attack. But we can keep the minus 15 accuracy on both of them, hopefully. That'll help a ton. All right, let's get some healing in. 2668s. Holy crap. Rake's past 3500 tonight, too. Insane, man. Might as well use Ploy. Ploy's gonna get rid of their last action. Give us a little bit of breathing room. Well, who's the lowest? This one? All right. Got him. Target acquired does ignore cover. So not only do we have the flank on him, but it goes by the cover. This is absorb anything. Steve, 20 minutes. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate that 20 minutes spent here. I really do. <laughs> Should have led with the minus accuracy. Honestly, we'll do that now. Uh, no, we won't. We'll use ploy first. Missed. Ah, well. We'll kill him with, uh, Kristoff, I suppose. Crit. Some Dark Dungeon Challenge, so this is cool, too. So, uh, basically, there's still a couple things I'm going to do with Dark's Dungeon, but I'm kind of waiting for uh, an announcement from Dark's Dungeon 2. Also, of course, when, uh, whoops, don't want to do that. When Dark's Dungeon 2 comes out, that'll be our main game for a long time. I plan to do lots of crazy challenges in Dark Dungeon 2 as long as it's also a good game and has, you know, uh, gives us the opportunity for challenge runs, which I'm sure it will. Uh, let's see. Let's get you positioned back here. Target acquired. There we go. There we go. Quad Leper Squad. I did quad of everything. I did a four-man run of everything on Endless Mode. Leper was one of the worst. Afraid of sequels. We'll see. That's good. Never seen Dark's Dungeon? I've only seen one sequel done great. Borderlands 2. What about the third one? What about Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3? There's lots of good sequels. Diablo 2. Uh, anyway. Witcher 3. The new God of War. Dark Souls 2 and 3. Halo 2, Halo 3. I can name like a hundred sequels that I thought were really good. Second Matrix is the best fight me. Well, I was talking about games. Final Fantasy. <laughs> like lots of those. Warcraft 2. Warcraft 3. Starcraft 2 was pretty decent. Had its problems. <laughs> okay. 
got me there. Uh, Red Hook seems like a smart company. From my interaction with my limited, it's not like I'm friends with them or something, but I've, I've talked to a, a developer or two on Discord for, uh, that worked on Darkest Dungeon, and I see what, you know, how they act and how they did the first Darkest Dungeon. So I have pretty high hopes. Try not to get my hopes too high, obviously. But uh, I'll judge the game based on how the game is. But I have I have high hopes that they'll uh, they'll do well with Darkest Dungeon 2. At 2 to 1. Game-wise, yeah, me too. We're all kind of at 2. You just forgot. Picky memory. Yeah. Darkest Dungeon run soon. I'm waiting for uh, for the Darkest Dungeon run. We have our world first challenge going up on YouTube now. So you can you can watch about one to two episodes of that a week at the moment. And uh, as far as a new run, I plan on doing one when there's new Darkest Dungeon 2 information out. That way we can latch on to a little bit of that hype. Hey, Diaper. Welcome in. How you doing, Diaper? Laptop can handle most of them. I gotcha. Hey Ben Diaper, it's good to see you again. One arrow, welcome back to I did one arrow. Let's see what the event is here. It is an unfortunate truth that time erodes the efforts of the uprising, imposing concessions upon the resistance movement. Given this limited capacity for operation, an issue of priorities is brought before you. Since the uprising cannot stand firm on every front, what should be the prime concern of our forces right now? You're mad. I'm sorry, one arrow. Can't wait for Fortnite too. <laughs> yeah, we're testing out sub badges. So they might change. Preserving the uprising's operational momentum and effectiveness. Safeguarding civilians and minimizing their casualty rates. Procuring the necessary arms and resources to keep the fight going. Ugh. This is a tough decision. All these are good and bad in their own right. I think I want to pick the top one. It seems like the... Seems like the one that kind of impacts game-wise the moment the most for us, maybe. I don't know what it does, but it seems like out of these options, I want to go with the top. Momentum and effectiveness, yeah. Momentum. The uprising cannot be allowed to get bogged down in battles laid out according to the enemy's terms. As such, you decide that maintaining such a state shall become the uprising's current priority. Plus 8%. It's really good. It's one of the biggest increases that we've ever had. We're about to lose our first zone. So, you're going to lose a zone, right? Like, you get three missions offered to you every every time you get back, and you can only do one of them. And if you when you choose one mission, it means the other two automatically fail. All right. Let's repair this heavy weapon that we got. I need to sell some stuff to be able to even do that. Okay, we'll repair that. And if it's not better than ours, we'll sell it. Hey, look at this. Minus 5% accuracy, but it's it's a new weapon. I'm going to check it out before we just sell it. Burn. Uh, incendiary strike used from the back. Hits two members of the back that are uh, adjacent vertically. Requires four heavy ammo. Deals 32 to 43 damage. 90% accuracy. 25% crit. 35% armor pin. Spends two stamina, though. Man, that's a, r a really strong attack. And then upheaval, uh, kind of a very similar move that also is applies blind. Wow. You know what? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Um, I should end up using this too sometime. I still haven't tried those out. They seem like they could be very strong too. I misread them the first time. Uh, so we're up to three accommodations. I still think getting that officer is one to max level. To your sniper kid. Well, cool. I don't know that she can. Ha I don't think she can have a heavy weapon. If that's who you're talking about. You're talking to Kristoff, who we just used in that mission. He can have a heavy weapon. 
With a red hook, it's nice for them to have input from you for the game. Uh, I mean, I'm on their Discord. I've, I haven't talked to them about the game. I mean, yeah, they, I, they don't really reach out to me for anything. I've had a couple of like very small conversations, but not really about like any game or anything. Hopefully, if they have an early access or something like that, I'll be a part of it or a beta. We'll see though. We'll see. All right, on we go. I'm just gonna sell these too, why not? Couldn't lose our first zone after this. 220. Do a voice for the next game? I mean, I doubt that'll happen, but I would absolutely, <laughs> I mean, uh, if, if, if I was asked to do anything at all or have any part in the game at all, I would. But see, the thing is there's much, there's, even though I have these, like, um, challenges to complete and stuff, there are much, much bigger streamers uh, for Darkest Dungeon. So, uh, they'll probably get... That, that have played it a lot, too, you know? But I'm sure they'll get priority. I would assume. Uh, we're about to lose them. About to lose them. We can spin this to give them morale. There we go. I kind of want to see what happens when we lose. Yeah, we're going to lose him. 15 and 4. 46 and 2. 46 and 2, huh? 16 and 5. Alright. Looks like we're going here. Let's get our medic again. Raku. Raku. Thank you for the follow, Raku. Let me know if I'm butchering your name, but I appreciate the follow. Christoph is hurting. I need to set him out. Uh, so we'll bring our sniper back in. Martin, it's your time to shine again. Uh, and we need uh, a ploy person. I know. I know. Tired of ploy. All right, don't need all this heavy ammo. We're not gonna use a lot of that. We're actually getting kind of, eh, not really low, but we've used up quite a bit of short ammo. We have a ton of long, which we were running out of for a long time. All right, you know what, let's go. Going till three, yeah. I was hoping we'd actually finish this tonight, but I don't think we'll be able to. Uh, that's one reason why I've not been taking extra fights on these last couple missions was to try to see what the end of the game is like. And it feels like we're pretty close, but I'm guessing we probably have like three missions left. Gleaming Endowment. $20 donation. No, Wayne says Gleaming Endowment, not me. The car, the door swung back, kind of hit your head. Left side knocked your glasses off. Do I have a headache or anything? Tiny bit worried. Not fine. I'm just paranoid. Uh, do I have a headache or anything? I'm sure you're fine, Route. I mean, there's no way to... Well, there's no way to be 100% sure. If you have, you know, insurance or whatever, you could go uh, get it checked out just in case. Better safe than sorry. But I'm, I'm guessing you're probably fine. It's a car. It's still the very first run, yeah. I probably wouldn't worry too much, Route. But... Uh, can always get it checked out if you are really worried, even if it's just for peace of mind, you know. Still the first run to car. How do you otherwise route? I'm sorry that happened. Shadow A, a bullet whizzes past your ear from out of nowhere, alerting your group to the presence of a sniper. Though everyone is quick enough to find cover, the enemy clearly has you at a disadvantage. Right here, right now, a false step will undoubtedly lead your men to an early grave. Can you think clearly? Can you use some average difficulty math? Try to locate the sniper from here. Let's see what our percentages are. We have an 80% on our sniper. Uh, since I wanted to scout out the sniper's position. <laughs> I, I shouldn't do this. 
It's an 80%, but we felled so many 80% shots in this game. If we fell this and they kill our sniper, I'm going to be real unhappy. I'm going to retreat covertly. No, you know what? Guts and glory. Wedding party at a restaurant? I think so. Didn't lose consciousness. There, a glint on the northwestern balcony. It's a momentary thing, but it's enough to give your teammate a fix. But what comes next? Advance using cover to slowly flush out the sniper or retreat covertly without engaging the sniper. Oh, I want to try it. This is so, this is not a good idea at all. I did prove effective enough. Not everything unfolds according to plan. Right before your eyes, a sniper shot hits his mark. A loud, hideous mush of entrails erupts from the body. <laughs> your teammates, it's frame slathered. I, I hate to laugh, but I just wanted to see if that's what could happen. And look what happened. Look who got killed. Our ploy is gone. Ploy is gone. Well, this is going to be really hard now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Warsaw. If you haven't already, I'd very much appreciate it if you click the subscribe button up here. Also check out another one of my videos at this link. But before you do either of those, if you could leave a like and a comment below, it would help out tremendously. And as always, thank you for watching.